I have developed a show of theater and music which offers a new experience to music and drama lovers. And most importantly, gives performing and business opportunities to young people. During my doctoral studies, I had a vision of the show, which I've developed into a business. The show is a recreation of a 19th century Parisian salon, where musicians, both young and more established, met with poets, writers, philosophers, and artists in the home of art lovers. These venues were the places where the emerging avant-garde artists had the opportunity to launch their careers. Salon Musical is the result of professional stage direction, costume design, and performance. Mainstream classical concerts these days struggle to fill halls, while young artists find it increasingly challenging to support themselves in an ever competitive and crowded market. My venture offers a solution to both. A cast of two singers, a violinist, a pianist, and an actor, all play real historical characters. And through scripted dialogue, they link the music with the poetry and the drama, thereby creating the buzz, the glamour, and elegance that were always a part of these gatherings. Here is what some of our audiences had to say about the show. Excellent, a great introduction to classical music. What fun to have a grand soiree and spend time in the company of great characters in such striking places. Refreshing, exciting, educational, a very high standard of music making. Would you like to see a glimpse of the show? Monsieur Gabriel Fauvet. The metamorphosis of a vampire. Excuse me, excuse me, monsieur. Should the ladies leave the room at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sergeant, very good to see you. Good evening. And any new paintings recently? Aimer à loisir, aimer et mourir au pays qui te ressemble. Any woman could have left Baudelaire if. He could sing like that. <laughs> to you, Mademoiselle Harper. <laughs> Salon Musical is a part of a wider trend. The salon-like events provide a growing need in the public for something different from the traditional concert, which is more relaxed and, in essence, a social event. Few examples from competitive salons currently showing in London. Art Sung, Alma Mahler, is a show about the amazing wife of composer Gustav Mahler and her remarkable life through her letters, diaries, and music. Salon London offers a series of talks about science, art, and psychology in intimate venues such as the Hospital Club and Foyle's Bookshop. Salon Opera is a bespoke chamber opera company offering clients opera in intimate settings. Storytelling defines the character of these events. Here are some figures from UK audiences. Theatre audiences are younger and more experimental than is commonly thought. Audiences want to see new shows over shows that have been running for more than two years. More than a third of audiences love interactive theatre. Salon Musical is a truly interactive show. The performers interact with the audience throughout the evening, and some members play characters from the period. The show transports audiences back in time in a fully immersive experience. So, where are we now? The show was launched in March 15, and since then, we have performed in eight prestigious venues, such as the National Portrait Gallery, the Chelsea Arts Club, and the French Institute UK. Our next show will take place in Lauderdale House, Highgate in the autumn. My goal was to have a professional, polished, high standard show, which we now have. We have two trained casts, a professional stage director and a professional costume designer. My next goal was to build a brand, 
And we have now a website, printed and dig digital marketing material, an advisory board, social media presence in Facebook and Twitter, and a mailing list of over 600 people. We have now partnerships with several organizations. Salon Musical has now residency at the University Women's Club. We are in partnership with the Concordia Foundation. We have two agents, Clive Conway Productions and Test of Time Entertainment. We have begun a partnership with House and Garden Magazine, who has linked us to several hotel chains and concierge agencies such as the Corinthian Hotel and the Mandarin Oriental. Finance. Our business plan shows that we are currently breaking even at a cost of £2,000 per show from ticket sales. Our projections show a profit for next year when the price and number of shows will increase. However, this is not enough to allow the project to grow, reach its full potential and give young people new opportunities. Where do we want to be next year? Booking expe bookings expected to be confirmed for a variety of festivals and clubs. The current show, which takes place in 1880 Paris, uh, I aim to produce an additional salon on a different theme, either London, Venice or Vienna. Creating a young artist program. Now this is a key feature in the original salons where the up-and-coming musicians uh, were uh, up, um, young up-and-coming, I mean musicians, writers and performers. We follow this idea by championing the young, training college students to perform in our shows, giving, giving them performance opportunities and creating networks and contacts for them through the social buzz of our shows. This will allow them to meet potential sponsors who could help with launching their careers. We have already given opportunities and we would like to go further next year. We aim to train one to two casts of college students and give them performance opportunities within our schedule of shows. Create a scheme where friends of the show sponsor the young artists and help with funding the young artist program. Where do we want to be in five years' time? We are looking at bookings between 30 and 40 bookings in festivals, clubs, livery companies and private homes. Residencies in four venues, such as clubs or music halls. We hope to have three shows on different themes. Featured articles in the national press, appearances in BBC Three and Four, TV and radio. Recording of a CD and a DVD of the Salon music, poetry recitation and narration, which will be sold at our live performances. We also intend to develop live streaming facilities to enable a larger audience to watch the show from the comfort of their own homes. This is crucial to support our growth strategy. In terms of our Young Artist Program, we hope in five years to have a cohort of 10 casts of students, an established friend scheme with 20 paying guests, a developed partnership with the Guildhall School where we train students for our shows, offer a salon module for advanced performance, and receive bookings of the show within the school's concert series. Why winning the prize would make a difference to us. The prize money would help us achieve our goals. It will help raise our national profile. It will give young artists further opportunities. It will help establish us as a new genre, as I believe Salon Musical answers a real need in the market for new, refreshing and educational entertainment. Live performances and live streaming can deliver our product to a sizable market. As the future of classical music lies with the young generation, I believe we can help bring them closer to the glorious art form while offering them the opportunities they deserve. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good plans. Um, can this be a business with only 30 bookings a year? Well, as, as our business plan shows, every booking uh, gives a profit, so beyond the cost of running the show. So, any But it's, it's not full-time work, is it? I'm not expecting it to be full-time work. Oh, okay. 
that's that, that's that wasn't clear. Thank you. So can I ask, um, what is the maximum amount of themes you can do in a se in a year? Is it, do, you, do you tend to do one program a year? Well. We began with this program, and we've been running it uh, for the first two years because we had to sort of experiment and see how long it takes and how right. much it takes to produce one. Um, so it is costly, and so therefore I'm um, um, careful to say that we'll do more than one a year. But could you potentially have three programs in repertoire for a year? Oh well, once we produce them, the, the, you can you can. The, that's easy to I, run. I say that because there are two other possibilities, which is you, if you can make a hotel weekend. Yeah. That there would be three evenings or something, or a cruise even. I mean, there are some upmarket cruises, QE2 or whatever, where it would be a very attractive draw to have that level of entertainment and involvement, particularly if it's interactive. Exactly. The, the need uh, of new ideas has been with us for, from the very start, because that wasn't obvious, because learning about the period, these salons were um, happening throughout Europe. So you, you saw mm. a variety of music and poetry and guests and patrons in London, Venice, and throughout Europe. So obviously that's quite attractive to audiences. Um, mm -hmm. We obviously need uh, the, the cash to, to, produce, to produce them. Uh, but on offer as well, uh, and another way of making more money easily, is offering smaller salons, which we have done, um, where we just offer an, an ensemble. So say two or three performers mm -hmm. who offer a home, a home concert, chamber music and club, mm -hmm. um, under the title of Salon Musical, which helps um, add some revenue to our... And in terms of Radio 3, have you ever approached them? Well, we're hoping. We have a publicist that um, I've worked with for several years now. Uh, she has several contacts there, and I've been privately on the show. So uh, that's the next stage, of course. Because it's very radiophonic. It would work well, I think, on radio particularly. Well, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. So, so how much does it cost you to put, to put a new show together, then? Uh, well, we estimate around uh, 1,000 pounds. Just, uh, to okay. Produce, to produce a new show? Yeah. Yeah, 1,000 pounds. Um, because... That's not valuing any time that's input into it, is it? That is, well, that is the time. So that's paying the stage director. Right. That's paying uh, me for the musical coaching. Uh, that's paying... That sounds uh, very costume, cheap. Costume designer. What are costumes? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a bit. That sounds really very cheap. To put. No, I, I meant if you're going to create a new salon mm -hmm. from scratch, how much does that cost? That's what I meant. Well, Sorry. I, I was refer, referring to that because I think we have already uh, a template. We have a um, sort of a format that works. Um, okay. And it just needs the changing of the characters, some research. Um, and using our cast that knows it. So I think it would be less time consuming than the original. I might think. But surely if you have a Viennese salon, it's going to be different characters, different conversations to a French salon, eh? Yes, but uh, similar themes. So um, intrigue, um, poetry, um, uh, the buzz of the evening, the flirtation between. But not philosophers of the day who are, Sorry. or whatever. You're not going to deal with artists or philosophers having input in, in the localized salon, are you? So for example, in Vienna, would you not have, I mean, you know, you, Voltaire or whatever in, in Paris, you wouldn't have the same thing in Mos for a Moscow salon or a, or a German salon? So no, no, but what I mean is, no. we're, dramatically, we will be following similar ideas. So, okay, okay. So what makes this salon so exciting is the combination of high art, so we offer the music, poetry, Mm -hmm. as well as some more human stories that were, that were happening in these gatherings. Right. So, but that has to be researched uniquely. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. And what's the optimum number of people at, at these salons? I know you talked about doing some much smaller ones, but... Yeah. I think five is a good number. Uh, sorry, I meant... Um, audience. Audience. Oh, sorry. Sorry, audience. no, it's uh, my fault. Well, we have had mostly 60 to 80 okay. um, people. I think it could go... A bit beyond that, we're going to about 100, but more than that, it's, it's it loses the intimacy. Um, intimacy yeah. and we'd like people to sort of interact as well and have a social buzz before and after. So I wouldn't go beyond 100, and I don't think we have yet. Yeah, thank you. And can you talk a little bit about how you envision this being run? Um, I understand from what you just said, this wouldn't be your full time occupation. 
but the distribution of it, the marketing of it, the Market. booking, and yes, the, the, in other words, how you actually promote the product, if you will, around the country and elsewhere. Who, who would be doing that? Yeah. So we have a team. Um, we have a team of um, marketing experts that are our friends, and I'll give them the time for free, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I have someone who I uh, pay, but I also help coaching, so, so I get a cheaper price that way for helping the daily um, marketing, writing to places, um, just getting it out there. So we are about a team of about five people. Um, and each one um, uses their contacts, um, does shifts of, you know, we divide the work between us. But again, the more um, income, then I could get some someone to do it, you know, one day a week, two days a week. And, and can I just ask, okay. finally, um, and are your shows generally sold out? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So there's a, there's, there's a market for doing more then? Well, absolutely. That's yeah. why we're very, very encouraged by it. You know, we've yeah. been running for two years now. I mean, all the, the reactions are like that. Um, so we just need to um, get our profile raised yeah. and go out there. So I think it's quite exciting. Thank you. D did I read? somewhere in here that you're trying to target some high net worth individuals and how are you going to find them? Well, that's, that's been the, the challenge. Uh, that's on the agenda. Um, basically, to raising the profits for, for performances, really, and um, getting... Word of mouth only. Word of mouth. Um, we've been very lucky now to get uh, a crucial contact in House and Garden well, magazine, for instance. I mean, so that already now can con connect us to a few people in the, in the company, in the whole Condé Nast um, um, company. So it's word of mouth. Uh, between the five of us, we have um, several contacts that can take, a, take us forward. Uh, but obviously, that's why publicity is very crucial. Have you Thank had any, you. Have you had any Last question. Sorry. Um, I've had the signal. OK. <laughs> <laughs> No, go ahead. Okay, last one. Last um, have you had any um, sort of articles in the FT or Times or any of these other quality quality press? No, not yet. That would probably help you hugely, I would have thought, yeah. if you can do that. Yeah. So publicity and a publicist, which I mentioned we have, mm -hmm. is something we'll be counting on a lot. Excellent. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Yeah. Very Thank you.